Whether we're brand new airmen or seasoned veterans, we're all moving towards a goal, a destination, a target we'd like to hit in the future. To reach those goals, we need feedback. It's one of the most powerful influences on learning and achieving. It's essential to the profession of arms. I'm Chief Master Sergeant Jim Hotelling, the 11th Command Chief of your Air National Guard. Feedback comes in many forms. It's anything or anyone that tells us where we are and how we're doing, where we need to go and how we need to get there. Feedback keeps us on track. It clarifies how others perceive our performance. We must have feedback to fully reach our potential. In the coming months, we'll release the Airman Comprehensive Assessment Form. This feedback, as the name implies, is comprehensive. The form facilitates meaningful and purposeful dialogue between the supervisors and the airmen they lead. It includes self-assessment, a detailed evaluation of current performance, and specific questions for the Raider and Raidee to discuss. It'll take time, but it'll be time well spent. If you're a supervisor in our Air Force, you must provide feedback to those you lead. Good supervisors know their people. We owe our airmen direction and guidance with clear expectations, and feedback provides that for them. Supervisors must take the time to sit down with airmen and have that conversation. It's a responsibility airmen must seek to be open to the feedback. We must be honest and open with the concerns, and we must take the time to understand our airmen's strengths and weaknesses. We must rely on feedback, growing from it, being confident from it. It is the pathway to winning the fight strengthening the team, and shaping the future. Your Air National Guard, always on mission.